if you're forced in a situation that you have to wait, you want to just tell yourself, you want to be grateful that existence has created a situation for you that you can stay in a state of meditation. Wherever you are, you're waiting in the traffic, you're waiting in the line because you have to go register or something, and you use that time. And when your mind comes and says, I hate this, and what are you doing, and what the hell is this, and life sucks, you simply trace this thought back to its origin, and you come back and it comes to me, to I, and you question, to whom is this important? Who is it that is suffering? And you trace back and it go back to the source. When you come back to the source, then you see that it's impossible for you to suffer. You cannot suffer. It doesn't matter. I was waiting for four and a half hours in the heat. I can't suffer. It's just the mind suffers. Maybe the body's uncomfortable, but I, the real me, can't suffer because I'm free. When your mind is attached to a certain kind of results, that things has to be in a certain way, and things don't go that way, you're invested in a result, heavily invested in things going in a certain way that you want them to be, otherwise life is hell, then you suffer. Because there is an I, there is an ego with an agenda that wants things to go its way. But if there is nobody there and you, you go beyond this me, then you experience and you begin to discover that you are free. And that's priceless. Because you can't buy it. You can't fake it. You can't duplicate it. You can't manufacture it. Nobody can give it to you. That's something you could be led to, but it's a discovery. You come to this realization and you become free. All sufferings are happening into a mind, a thought that is identified and believes and is attached to its story. That's where sufferings happen. Get rid of the source and then the suffering. Get rid of the source of the suffering, get rid of this me, and then suffering disappears too. And you experience freedom. In fact, freedom will be your only reality.
There is literally no circumstance in life that you cannot turn it from a poisonous situation into medicine. Every poisonous situation in life, you can turn it around to medicine. It doesn't matter what it is, it gives you a chance for transformation of completely transforming your life. It doesn't matter how horrible it is, how devastating it is, that situation is an opportunity to turn it around for freedom. That's how you want to look at things. That's how you want, that's an attitude you want to develop. Because for four and a half hours, sitting in 42, 43 degrees, of course I turned the engine on and I used the air conditioning, but I did not suffer. I didn't feel like something was wrong. I didn't feel like this was a disaster. I simply used that time to do the things I needed to do. Even the things I want to do is being silent and meditating. It's great. In the middle of the desert stock, there's nowhere I can do. It's a perfect time to be still, perfect time to dive in, to drink from the juice, being blissed out without any distractions. Because a normally normal time, I don't really get that opportunity. I mean, it's there, but there's also a million different things to do that it's more difficult to just stay still and dive into doing nothing for four hours when you have thousands of things to do and people are messaging you or you have obligations, you got your projects, you got your employees to work with, you got your clients to work with and things to do. But then all of a sudden existence puts you in a situation like that And it's like, okay, you can complain about it and say how much life sucks, or you can just surrender and dive into it and turn a disadvantage situation of doing taxes into an advantage to a blissful experience and get everything done. And you get this challenge every day. Every day you get challenged. You, every day you get this, ex, this opportunity to, to dive into it again, over and over again. <laughs>